Hello Leo, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be looking at how your person is currently thinking, feeling about you, about the connection, what are their intentions for you or possible actions in the future. As always, these readings are general, so they cannot resonate with every Leo watching. So keep that in mind. And let's jump right in for Leo. So, what guidance messages do you have for Leo regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What do we need to know for Leo regarding the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time? What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Leo or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Leo or this connection? Wow, the Ace of Cups, Knight of Wands reverse. I keep getting the Knight of Wands reverse in these readings and I'm using different decks so I think it's fascinating and the five of cups reverse so feelings obviously here with the ace of cups genuine feelings um love fulfillment you know feeling very full new beginnings in love all that good stuff with the ace of cups but the knight of wands rever reverse does not deliver <clears throat> they're not able to commit they're not able to stick around or they're not able to complete what they want to complete because of the way they do it. Five of Cups Reverse is a card about kind of overcoming the past, overcoming difficulties of the past, recovering some sort of a loss that you've had. So let's see what else we can get here. <clears throat> what else can you tell me for Leo? What else can you tell me for Leo? What are they thinking for me when it comes to Leo or this connection spirit? I need to know about what they're thinking, feeling when it comes to Leo or this connection. I need to know. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Water signs are also very intuitive, um, in touch with their emotions, perceptive. Confident, secure, and self-assured. Warm, kind, and affectionate. So again, a lot of feelings here, but I think also with confident, I'm getting that this person is feeling like they can achieve something. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, air signs are very smart, great communicators, very intelligent, curious, and then lucky. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing someone who really feels like they're able to achieve something that they want. They're maybe thinking both with their head and their heart here um, and have some sort of goal. This person is motivated by something. Um, but I also don't get the sense that this is someone that just wants to play. They're not really trying to, I feel, do things in a bad way. So we'll see. Like I, I feel like they are their intentions are probably on more good than bad. <laughs> Can we get some clarity, please, for Leo. Some clarity, please. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. The Star and the Devil, Aquarius energy and Capricorn energy. Um, oh yeah, this person, I feel like there are, um, I'm speaking to a Leo where there were issues in your connection. Um, maybe they weren't able to commit to you with the Knight of Wands reverse, but this Five of Cups reverse tells me that at some point there was disappointments, um, mistakes made, regrets because of those mistakes. And I feel like it's caused some sort of a burden on this connection that I think your person wants to be free of. I think they want to heal this connection with a star. They want to overcome whatever difficulties exist now. Tell me more about the star and the devil. Tell me more about the star and the devil. It's a star and the devil here. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and there's the Ace of Cups again. So I get the sense that this is somebody that 
well, the Queen of Cups tends to be very loyal, stable. They're a reliable partner. I think this person is trying to present themselves to you as someone that you can count on, someone that cares, <clears throat> someone that's been loyal to you. This is how they feel. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Maybe you're married to this person, but I don't feel that very strongly. So it's almost like they want to... I don't know. I, I You might be this Queen of Pentacles, actually. They don't want to lose their Queen of Pentacles. Someone that has a lot to offer. Someone that they're in love with. And that maybe they wanted a long-term future with. But something happened here. Let's see what happened with this Knight of Wands reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse for Leo? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Wow, death, Scorpio energy. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, something definitely happened. There could have even been an ending. There's a tower. There could have been an ending here that happened because of someone's behavior. And they are now struggling because of that. So I get the sense that this is someone that's very, yeah, they're, they're working on this. Eight of Pentacles here. They're trying to turn this around. Tell me about the Five of Cups reverse. Why is the Five of Cups reverse? Why is the Five of Cups reverse? the queen of cups again a lot of love emotions feelings tied to you I, I sense that this person is very um emotionally invested in you oh yes five of swords and the tower again so i think that this person or you and this person must have already had a separation i wanted to say capricorn just now um, <clears throat> you might be dealing with a Capricorn or, or someone with Capricorn in their chart or Scorpio or Aquarius. But what I'm getting more than anything is that somebody here made a mistake, Leo, and that mistake was like a tower moment. Uh, I feel like an ending happened or a separation happened here. I think that possibly there were multiple people involved in this drama because I feel like this was difficult um this, uh, whatever happened it was someone's fault um distinctly like I'm, I'm getting the sense of someone that really screwed up i don't know why my poor leos always get these types of readings <laughs> can we get some insight please what is this person's thoughts feelings when it comes to leo what do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, when it comes to Leo? I still check up on you. I want to see you. I don't think they have access to you. That's why they want to see you and they're checking up on you. So let's see what their intentions are. What are their intentions and next actions going to be? Spirit towards Leo. What is this person's next actions, intentions towards Leo? What are their true intentions or next actions going to be towards Leo? True intentions, next actions towards Leo. Five of Wands reverse. So again, overcoming a difficulty. Queen of Swords reverse and the High Priestess reverse. So. Um, I don't know. King of Coin at the bottom of the deck tells me that it reminds me of this Queen of Pentacles. I think this person wants to do the right thing. I think they want to appear like a King of Ken a King of Pentacles or someone that is very serious, um, very um, you know they want to be seen as reliable, loyal, because those are the qualities of a King of Pentacles. However, the Queen of Swords is reverse. So I'm getting like arguments, fights, deception here. Someone that doesn't know how to communicate well. And the High Priestess reverse is telling me that there's something that might come out or be revealed. So let's see what the heck this is all about. Tell me about the Queen of Swords reverse. Why is the Queen of Swords 
reverse. The high priestess. Okay, so secrets. Something that's not being communicated openly. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords reverse. What's going on here? Yep, Ace of Swords and the King of Swords. So the truth I feel is going to come out about something. I think this person hid something from you, Leo, and for some reason it's still going to be an issue in the near future. Or this person might open up about this. Um, maybe they they might even confess. I think they're going to try to reveal an important truth or tell me about the high priestess reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the high, high Priestess Reverse. Tell me about the High Priestess Reverse. Queen of Swords. So I get the sense that this person is hoping that the truth that they communicate to you is enough. Because they want to move on from what happened. Tell me about the Five of Wands Reverse. Tell me about the Five of Wands Reverse. Why is the Five of Wands reversed? Three of Cups. Oh yeah, there's drama here, Leo. I'm not sure who's involved, but it's more than one person, most likely. Or perhaps they just want to reunite, come together. No longer have this fighting. Queen of Wands, yeah. Let's not fight anymore. Let's be happy again. Let's, you know, meet up and have a good time like we always did. But I don't know. I feel like there's something that is very important that you need to know that you don't know with the Queen of Swords reversed and then I have the Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, you know, High Priestess here, High Priestess reverse. I mean, this is a very clear message. The High Priestess reverse, something's no longer secret, no longer hidden. The Queen of Swords reverse, someone would definitely hide something as a Queen of Swords reverse. So then this is like turning around here with the Ace of Swords. Someone admitting something. I get some in, uh, insight into this person's intentions towards Leo. Their intentions towards Leo. And Leo, if I didn't say Leo, if I said another sign, it's because I am struggling to say Leo. <laughs> I want to say Capricorn. Capricorn's very strong. Like there's someone's definitely dealing with a Capricorn. We have the bear, which is all about a new beginning. So their intention is a new beginning and it's tied to an ending with the bat at the bottom of the deck. So I get the sense that this person wants to recover what they've lost with you. And they're very they're, you know, trying to appear very confident because, you know, I, I do get the sense this person really cares about you. Um, I get the sense that they have feelings tied to you, like I said earlier. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you're ready for whatever they're going to tell you. I don't know if this is enough for you. Um, I don't know what was hidden from you. I feel like it will be different for everyone watching. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Leo? Imprisonment. And then marriage at the bottom of the deck. So this person could be stuck in another situation. They might be um, unable to commit to you for whatever reason. Maybe they're scared of commitment or just not someone that feels like they can commit to other people. But I, I get the sense that a lot of you are dealing with possibly a third party. This devil energy could symbolize that someone is trapped in a situation but has hope for a new beginning in love with you. But this, uh, the death card is here with the five of pentacles. So I feel like something has to end and there's the tower here too. I mean, it's almost like and this tower could be a reveal as well. Maybe the only way for them to recover what they've lost with you is to be honest with you. Tell me about this Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Can I get some more insight into these three energies here? Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Nope, that's the Five of Wands. Sorry. <laughs> five of Wands. Multiple people. Drama. Conflict. Okay. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Knight of Wands. I think this person... Um, 
They have to admit their behavior about something. They made a mistake because they rushed into it. It caused problems, whatever this Knight of Wands represents. I think that this person jumped into something without thinking, without you know, picturing the consequences and it caused problems. And for some reason, this is what they're gonna tell you. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed this short bonus love reading. Uh, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.